Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. So today we're heading to one of my favorite stores, IKEA. It is finally open after about three months of being closed for due to Corona. And I'm excited to show you all of the new things that they probably have right now. And I'm also going to try to do a few fun DIYs afterwards. So let's go. So here we are finally for the first time back in IKEA after almost three months of being separated. Uh, lots of the displays that are upstairs are kind of spring themed, which I really appreciated because, you know, I miss that in my life. <laughs> and over here is a cool balcony layout that also I really liked. Uh, these two jars, very kind of handmade quality and not expensive. So I just thought I'd show these because they're very cute. This display of uh, faux flowers, faux green plants, <laughs> I really liked and I bought this because I thought it had a lot of opportunity to create DIYs with. This little miniature bottle is very adorable, loved the pattern, the flower pattern and over here at the bottom we have more of a greenery leafy pattern with a larger bottle which I also thought was cool and they have this similar pattern throughout a few things like cups and plates and over here kind of like a soup bowl. This French press I thought was adorable. It's also on sale for $5.99 and I love the turquoise color. So for $15 basically you get four of these and they kind of look Japanese-esque. Very nice and tasteful. Love these. Uh, this is very cool. It's a food cover so I'm guessing it's uh, silicone and it goes on two jars and maybe you have half of a uh, lemon or any kind of other vegetable that you can cover. This cherry blossom napkin looks adorable, also on sale. And the matching kind of cherry blossom look is carried throughout different kind of organizational, home organizational boxes and magazine files and things like that. So I found this item which is called magazine rack and I thought it was beautiful and I think it can be used for many other purposes so that's why I'm showing you this. I think it's really well done. Now in the lights department, there are these dragonflies, how adorable. I love how they look, I think they'll create an extra ambiance to your backyard. These plain uh, lights also look gorgeous and not that expensive. Over here I'm showing you this English rose posters, again can spice up your living room space beautifully. I was so impressed, this is a set of 9 pieces of coast. Now I for sure miss beach because we are not by the beach and <laughs> this will be lovely to have. So it is $60 but it is a 9 piece. I think it looks beautiful, gorgeous photography. Over here we have carnations for $0.79, cents. great find because they look pretty much real. They, they really look amazing. One thing I love about IKEA is the fact that their flowers look really natural and I love that. So over here I'm showing you all of the varieties they have. They have a lot of white flowers currently, at least in my location. Now I found this garland for $7 and I thought again the flowers on it and the detailing was really well done. So basically I got it in hopes of creating something out of it. Now these blue flowers again look beautiful, very nice addition, nice pop of color, haven't seen them before in Ikea. The uh, tulips, I say go for the real thing, but if you're into th those kinds of tulips, sure go for it. I even like this, um, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's more detailed and looks more realistic in my opinion, so I love that. Another artificial bouquet, these look great. Honestly, they look amazing and uh, over here they have displayed them in 99 cent vases which are so adorable. There are different kinds of them but they're all 99 cents, the vases. It's just an easy addition to make your table a little nicer. Over here it's a tree, the cherry blossom tree, really really well done. So for sure cherry blossoms last a very short amount of time so maybe this is a good idea. And these balls out of paper, I think they're very fun. It's just an easy way to spruce up your room. Now let's go on to the DIYs. So taking the green plant and cutting off stems one at a time, I think I used I want to say about 20 of these stems. So over here I'm showing you how to glue them together. It's sort of like the third 
portion of one of the stems actually in the middle of it in the middle is better because it's going to be fuller you glue gun it one to the next and over here you kind of have a thread of um, whatever is you want the diameter to be you need to I, I did it twice so you need to have it as long as you want it to be so the size really is up to you i am taking over here this kind of lavender looking purple flowers which i think are so beautiful and same thing adding them sporadically anyway feels right really uh through my garland and now i am gonna just glue on the beginning of it and the end of it I had a couple of more green uh, branches. I just threw them in there neatly. And this is how it looks. Looks very nice. Now the next step is I had this, um, this is a cooking cotton thread. So I kind of threaded that thread all throughout to make the shape of the wreath a little more fine. And I thought this wreath needs a little bit of white so I found this other uh, white I don't know what it's called flower and I added those right in there too they look kind of like baby breath very pretty now with this marker which by the way I love because it's perfect for illustration and it's nice and pointy I have created a sign on a very thick I used watercolor paper but you can use any kind of thicker paper now this is going to be a plate invitation so i'm using my name and to glue that name i needed some kind of area <laughs> to glue it on and i thought why not have cotton thread kind of around it and then on top having the name now the name looked a little too simple for me so i thought how can we make it a little more interesting so i took the instant coffee and with the q-tip over here as you can see i am just aging it a little bit and i'm putting the coffee on top because that's just gonna kind of expand and make really cool design and of course you need to let it dry for a couple of hours and here's the final result I think it's so adorable and adds a little something to your plate setting. And by the way, this wreath you can use just if you put home sign on it, you can use it as a little kind of welcome home sign. Very adorable, perfect for maybe a bathroom. Just I think it's a great idea. Now for the idea number two, uh, this is more of a harder idea because I'm sure not, I'm sure you guys don't probably have the wheel of a bicycle, but I've had this for a while and I did not know what to do with it. So this is my chance, okay? And uh, of course, all of the flowers that I bought will hopefully create a really beautiful wreath coming together. So first I spray painted with my favorite, favorite uh, gold spray paint. I'm going to link it down below because I absolutely love that brand and I went through a lot of gold spray paints before reaching to this brand. Now the removal of the flowers and the leaves was very easy with this IKEA garland. You just kind of pull it. So at first I was cutting the greenery of that plant, of that faux plant. But then soon I realized, same as the garland, I can just pull the kind of chunks of the greenery. And this is actually much better for the larger wreath that I'm going to create. So I pulled all of the greenery out from the plant, which was really easy to do. Here I'm showing all of the elements that it came to be which is perfect for the size of my bike wheel. Now, before I go onto the bike wheel, I thought I need some kind of a sign. So this is a Dollarama, which is our dollar store over here, $2 wooden sign that I had from before. I unscrewed the little uh, chain over there at the top. And because I had the coffee handy, same idea as what I did with the sign, I basically stained it with coffee. You can stain it with probably watercolor. You can stain it if you, of course, have wood stain. But I didn't have any of that and to be honest coffee worked really well here is the first layer dry so here's another layer just to make it a little bit darker and somehow the texture when you go from right to left it creates almost like wooden texture which looks amazing so this is how it is 
looking when it's dry. Now the next step is I wanted a cool kind of handwritten sign and I wanted to write the word hello. So because I didn't use any kind of pencil, I kind of spaced it out first very gently and lightly with the white color and then I went in and made everything thicker. So you can for sure do that. And here is the final result of the sign. Looks really cool. I loved how it turned out. Now, in my closet, I found the Furium, I think it's called. I thought I need to use that up, which actually added an extra dimension. I'm pretty sure IKEA would have something similar in the flower section too, if you want a bit of a more purpley, bluey color. So over here, it's just a time lapse of me figuring out how the flowers would go. I personally like to group the white flowers in chunks so that we have sections that are lighter and then the rest are greenery. And here's the final result. How adorable. And it's finally a great use of my bike wheel. So I love how it turned out. I love how realistic IKEA flowers are. And this is a great addition to decor for the springtime. So I hope you enjoyed my IKEA haul and I hope you enjoy my simple DIYs and I hope you try something yourself and create the spring mood for yourself. So of course please subscribe, like and share if you enjoy my work and I'm going to link the materials down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.